Oxidative stress is one of the seven major causes of aging. And so what happens when you have oxidative stress, we'll just kind of zoom in. If you have like complex one, complex two, complex three, and complex four, during ischemia where the concentration of low two is uh, is of O2 is low, you have the buildup of these electrons in the complexes, and then so if a a rare or a, a a molecule of O2 gets in, then electrons will leak out, and they leak out at places where they're not supposed to. And what you get is you get a single oxygen transferred to a molecule of O2, and this is called a superoxide. So this electron doesn't like to be by itself. And so uh, some of the uh, causes of of uh, oxidative stress include ischemia and reperfusion. And so we just looked at ischemia, but let's take a look at reperfusion. We have um, ischemias where there's a slow leak from a buildup of electrons in the electron transport chain, but reperfusion happens when all of a sudden you have uh, O2 shooting back into, uh, like you've got blood and oxygen shooting back into a cell, and then all of a sudden electrons just start jumping from multiple places onto that oxygen, and when they do that, you get uh, reperfusion injury because you'll get a, a lot of oxygen radicals, superoxide radicals, being created all at once until everything in the electron transport chain equilibrates. And so those things are handled by um, enzymes such as catalase and uh, glutathione dismutase. You can also get a little bit of help with that from antioxidant vitamins such as vitamin E and vitamin C will reduce oxidative stress. Now what does oxidation do? Well those free electrons will just travel around and run and be donated to various different parts of the cell such as uh, DNA or proteins and it'll it'll um, for proteins it will cause denaturation, cause a protein to quit working for DNA, it'll just cause it causes uh, dimers and all kinds of other events that uh, damage it and break it apart. Now, I'm sorry, I actually misspoke a second ago. I said uh, glutathione dismutase, it's glutathione peroxidase. For, so the steps in re, um, fixing and reducing uh, superoxides is first superoxide dismutase converts uh, the O2 radical into H into peroxide, and then either you can have uh, catalase convert that into H2O and O2, or you can have um, glutathione peroxidase convert it just into H2O. And the way the glutathione uh, peroxidase works is it takes a molecule of, it takes two molecules of glutathione and it oxidizes them to uh, glut uh, glutathione disulfide. And in order to get it back to a reduced state, it, it it requires the expenditure of an NADPH. Now this is different than NADH. Um, usually you see NADPH in stuff like uh, uh, plants during photosynthesis, but this is it's not the only place you'll see it because NADPH is also used to reduce glutathione.